What's up, guys? I hope everything is going well. Welcome back to Roche Killian Uncut, the podcast where I say whatever it is that is on my mind, it is uncut. No one is cutting anything. If I say the wrong words, if I make a mistake, it flies, it goes. So today, firstly, I want to say a little cheers. So if you are watching, if you're only listening, I have a drink. I've got a Hunter's Dry in my hand and I'm going to take a nice sip because today is my birthday. It is the 19th of June and I'm 33 years old. So cheers. Mm. How refreshing. Anyway, cheers to me. It's 33. Now, the reason why, or basically the topic that I'm going to discuss today is fairly simple. It's my birthday, which always makes me think about the year that passed, you know, like literally everything that happened the last 365 days. And I always, the first thing that I go back to is, is I imagine myself literally today, a year ago. And I ask myself, like, where was I? Like, where was I at? Where was I staying? Like, you know, did I have any pets? Did I have a girlfriend? How much money did I make? Those type of things. And it's funny how every single time, well, depending on your goal, and that's what I'm going to help you with today. My goal obviously is to progress. But so far, every time I look back, I feel like I've gotten a step or two forward. And that is what I want for you. And that is why I'm saying or why I want to make this podcast. So the topic that I basically want to talk about is how to change your life in one year. And I know it sounds crazy and you think one year, but it's only one year. But remember, one year has 365 days. One day has 24 hours. Now, of course, we have to sleep and all those type of things. But I'm telling you now, if you put yourself, if you commit to something, if you you have a, let's say, a goal, whether it is to lose weight, maybe it is to get a job, maybe it is to get married, find a girl, you know, um, bench more, uh, make YouTube videos. I mean, just think about this quickly, right? At my, my channel is three years old. I've got 1,600 followers at the moment, plus minus, right? And it took me three years to get this. Now, I wasn't constantly posting, but now I'm making daily vlogs. Now, I've, I'm on about 61 vlogs, and I can tell you one thing, and I'm going to be honest and open, obviously in this podcast and in my life, I've gained about 700 subscribers in two months. And that is because I was been posting daily for 65 days. Now, that's 65 days. Imagine doing that for 365 days. Where will you end up? 2,000? 3,000 subscribers? 4,000? I mean, you're going to reach a level where you're actually going to start making money with YouTube. I mean, that's at least my goal. So I wanted to give you that example so that you can understand that whatever it is that you want, right? Whatever it is that you want... Um, like I said, financially, let's say you're making 10000 whatever your currency is. Okay, maybe not $10,000. That's quite enough for some people. But let's say in Rand then, 10,000 Rand. That's about 10,000 Rand. I have to do some calculations. It's about $600, right? Let's say you make $600 a, a month. You know, you obviously want, as a goal, as any man, woman, whoever you are, you want to better that. Next year, you want to make... 800 or a thousand or or you double it and make a thousand two hundred dollars make twenty thousand rand a month that should be your goal you shouldn't have a mediocre goal and say oh i just want to get a raise you should dream big because i'm telling you now whatever that goal is it is possible you can do it because i've done it and i'm just this normal normal guy from a small town with like less than ten thousand people you know yes god has blessed me with pretty good genes in a sense that if I work out my body changed you know I've got green eyes you know I was in a way born with two parents that love each other they are still married so I'm fortunate enough to have love in my life and in my down times when I had bad like basically down really down times they were there to support me some people don't have that you might be listening and your parents might not be here anymore or maybe you have an abusive father Or maybe you had a relationship and all the chicks just, you know, cheated on you. I don't know what your life is. I can tell you now, but I can, one thing I can tell you is I know that you're going through a lot of shit. And I have gone gone through that same thing. However, I'm telling you, if you can put that aside, whatever your start is, I mean, just think about it quickly. How many of the most famous people in the world, right? Like real famous, 
this I always use him as an example. I mean, it's it's probably the most obvious. But Dwayne Johnson, right? Yes, of course, great genes, good looks, you know, those type of things. Born in in uh, you know Hawaii in America, father was a pro wrestler, so you, know, you could potentially say that he had it all in a sense. Like he could easily make changes, but it still took a lot of effort for that man to decide because he could have been a bum. You know, but he tried things. He tried to go into a career in football, American football or Canadian football, and he made it. But then they cut him. And according to him, he had seven bucks in his pocket and he had nothing. And he made a decision to do wrestling. And his father said to him, listen, Rock, Dwayne, you're not going to fucking do it. You're not going to do this thing because there's no money here. And at that time, there wasn't any. It was like wrestling wasn't a big thing but he believed in himself and he said that this is what he's going to do and he believed that he will grow from this and then he did and he became the rock and then obviously life changed media started happening you know the world changed and wrestlemania and things like that started picking up he became an actor it's, it's crazy the stuff that he's done and look at where he is now probably the most known man ever all i'm saying is that if you decide to do something right like i said every single day there's a, there's a quote, well, it's not a quote, I think it's Proctor that said this. If you study a specific field, whatever it is, it could be mechanical engineering, it could be YouTubing, it could be, you know, a designing course, it could be mathematics, it could be obviously fitness, whatever it is, if you study that for one hour a day, right, one hour a day, for five years, you will be in the top 3% of people that know that product. You will literally be, you'll basically be an expert in that field, all right? Now, how important is that? I know it's five years, but imagine you can just daily focus on one small thing, you know? If someone pokes you in the face like this, it's not going to hurt, right? It's not hurting. It, well, it doesn't hurt me. But if you keep doing this every single day for a week, I promise you there'll be a hole in my face. And that is what I want you to do is literally poke at that goal. Poke at that goal every single fucking day. You poke and you poke and you poke until your finger goes right through. I don't care if it bleeds, if it's up to the bone. You poke that fucking thing until you go right through. And then you can fit your hand in, you can break it open, and you push your whole body through. That is what I want for you. And I'm not going to give you like tips in a sense where I'm literally giving you a blueprint do this do this do this all i'm saying is whatever it is that you do do it daily and consistently no matter how you feel because trust me there's going to be some shit days your girlfriend's going to break up with you you might not have money for food that day fuck it your goal is way more important i'm telling you it's going to pay off it's going to pay off i know you might think oh Rochelle, well this is not really great advice thank you so much for absolutely fuck all but i'm telling you Trust me when I say this, because <sighs> I've been through it, all right? I just had a phone call with a friend as well. It's my birthday, and he said, Rochelle, you know what? You don't have 100,000 followers. You don't have $100,000 in the bank every month, yet you are making these videos every single day, and you don't care if you get 30 views or 300 views or 3 million views. You do it. And you know why I do it? I do it because one day I believe that I will have millions of followers, and I will have millions of views, and then I can take this video. And I can show it to the guy that has 10 views. And I can tell him to keep going. Because that is why I do these things. And that is why I want you to keep going. All right? That's all I wanted to say. It's my birthday. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a drink. It is literally, it's party time. So cheers to you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Of course, if you like this podcast like it subscribe i have daily vlogs coming out you can check my life you can follow exactly what's happening and i post these podcasts on tuesday and thursday if you have any topics that you feel that you want me to touch on or if you want to find out if i have some sort of knowledge or or you know experience in that thing that you are asking ask away put it in the comments down below and i can make a, a, a podcast a video about it and see if i can explain or maybe help all right have a beautiful day. We'll chat soon. Cheers.